This video is about my first time making a serving board. My wife and I have been married for five years and our anniversary was fast approaching. Five year anniversaries being timber, I wanted to make a handmade gift made of timber. I had a look online of what to do and I decided to make a serving board. I had a look on Pinterest for some inspiration and watched multiple YouTube videos to learn how to make a serving board. Before we go further, let me say I'm not a professional woodworker. This is the first time I'm making a serving board and it's all by trial and error. I had some timber lying in the shed which I decided to use for this project. I had some jara, Victorian ash, pine and decided to use the jara and the Victorian ash. Disaster struck just when I was starting my project. My table saw decided to kick the bucket. My friend Barry came to my rescue. Barry, who runs Superior Edge Work, told me that he will cut the timber for me for the size I need. Barry specializes in chopping boards, timber work, glass etching and various personalized gifts. I will add a link here and in the description if you want to have a look. Once I had the timbers cut to the size I wanted, it was time to work on the arrangement. I tried arranging them in a few different ways to see which will work the best. And after I had decided the design, it was time for glue up. I applied glue on all timber and clamped them together until there was a fine bead of the glue seeping through the joints. Once this was done, it was time to wait for the glue to dry. I gave about 24 hours for the glue to dry, after which it was time to work on the handle. I decided to use the scroll saw to cut a nice pattern for the handle. However, having had no experience using a scroll saw, I struggled with this one. So instead of using the scroll saw, I decided to use my drop saw just to trim the edges and have a nice shape. Once I cut the edges off, it was time to put the board through the planer. After passing the board through the planer a few times, the face of the board was all nice and even. The serving board was coming towards the finishing stage, so I sprayed some water and sanded the face of the board. This way it'll make sure there won't be any fuzzy timber will come up when exposed to water. Then I decided to engrave a small message in the back of the board and then I attached some rubber feet to the board. This way the board will be protected from water when it's left on the kitchen bench. After letting the board dry for a few hours, I used some food grade wax and rubbed it on the face of the board using an old turkey towel. This was my second disaster. Once the wax was all dry, when I had a look at it, I saw there was a lot of fluff on the board. Instead of scrapping all the wax off and doing it again, I decided to use a hot gun to melt the wax and then I used a clean microfiber towel to rub the wax into the timber. I repeated this process a few times until the wax was all even on the serving board. It wasn't my plan, but in the end I noticed that I had used five pieces of timber as if to signify the five years anniversary. It wasn't planned, but I'll take it. Now, I'm not a professional woodworker, so this might not be the best way to make a serving board. If you have a better way of doing this, please share it in the comment below. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. This channel is about traveling, making new things and learning in the process. If this is something that you like, please subscribe and see you in the next video.